I like Rogue One. I love Rogue One. Yeah. I like Rogue One. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're up here doing a little bit of Control, which is a new game by Remedy. I'm a big fan of Remedy games. Remedy has been making... I've been a Remedy fan since Max Payne, since the first Max Payne. We talking back like in the early 90s uh, on PC. So yeah, enjoy the stream. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you hate it. Uh, and we sitting in here. No, play with all your friends. Controller. I'm not. He gets nervous when he um hears about um when he hears about fucking uh you know streaming and shit like that. He was like, "Oh no, my penis!" I think you'll like this game. From what I hear, um, if you like things like Max Payne, uh, what do you call that? What's that game that we love? Alan Wake. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Yeah, Remedy always does some great Can't games. Be helped. You called me. So here I am. Hey, every time I get tattooed, I feel cold at the end. Mm. Ah. I know. That's the I loss of blood, my brother. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. Honestly, I think I'm only gonna do the one. It's like we live in a room. Oh yeah, yeah, um your sleeve is coming out real nice. We stare at it and we yeah, think that's the whole world. The room. And the face, like McDonald's face is made. And the poster. The picture is something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie. What is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell. And the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible. But we're all trans. But it's all a lie. Something yeah, right. to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind think so. the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? <laughs> 
Anyone here? Anyone here? Hello? Anyone here? No, I'm not including my audio because I'm eating shit. Okay. <laughs> fucking them yeah. chips up. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just make a post. Okay. All right, here we go. Put that right there. Right, here we go. Here we go. That's a lot of I love remedy games, I'm gonna be honest with you. When it comes to shooters, they have they, like when it comes to third person shooters, they have this shit down pat, man. I'm telling you. Well, let me turn this down a little bit. There we go. Um, yesterday. Uh, it's a game. Cause only it was only released to black people. Oh. You're left out. Ha ha. <laughs> You're but I let you know. That's why I called you in here. They were like, "Don't tell any white people." I was like, "Okay," and I was like, "Okay, okay, okay," and I instantly called Jeff. I said, "Jeff, look." This, this yeah, I said, "Jeff, look." I love that Predator figure. Absolutely love it. It sits right on my show. Staffing surveillance, data center initiative, constructor, construction, minor office equipment, janitorial costs, mold removal, HQ liability costs, cost breakdown. Okay, who cares? What was? Oh, that comp, that, um, that, that was. Oh, those figures are nice, man. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I enjoyed it. Enjoy the company. Reminder, certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an, in an issued reminder on prohibited materials, unauthorized weapons, papers, laptops, smartwatches, smartphones, smart gaming devices, anything smart, number two pencils, any objects considered iconic representations of an archetypal concept. All material under Bureau investigations to be brought in through the private interests. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your supervisor immediately. Yeah, that's that's your job, Jeff. That sounds like your job. They don't want anything fun there. Ew. Ew. What kind of ew? Ill. Ill. Like, ill? ill. No. no. <laughs> this game is very smooth, too. Once I start shooting, I'll probably up the sensitivity or see how it goes. All these years, up it or down it, one of the two. Hiding in plain yeah. Sight. yeah. I love hanging in bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Brings back memories. Shouldn't you be working tonight? I'm in the bathroom. Best time to work. Bathroom break. Mm -hmm. Bathroom break. Don't even have to pee or shit. Just go there. Like just play. Uh, yeah. Get all the sickness Look at your smartphone. Look at your yeah. Look at your smartphone and shit. Yep, you know what I'm yep, saying? Yep. Look at yourself. How you're aging in the mirror. Be like, what the fuck? And where'd that gut come from? <laughs> 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 that good. 
What the fuck? Who are you in the mirror? Or someone enters the other stall and they're just dying in there. Yeah. yeah I just help yeah. laugh. Yeah. I'll never eat Taco Bell again. Just like. Drop! <laughs> they got everything blacked out. A shark in his secure, although permission to following basic protocol, shoot to kill. Good luck. A shark. I'm starting to be like street sharks. Oh, we have sharks all the time at the fucking kindergarten school where Martin's at. Like, they try to eat the children every day. <laughs> you got to avoid them when you go to the bathroom. If you get eaten, it's your fault. Yeah. Hey, excuse me. That's where you learn that at a young age. It's your fault. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Is that good old janitor? There's Martin right there. Good old janitor. Good old janitor. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you. Good old custodian, just for the school. Just for the school. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sound. Martin would be like, "Oh man, I, I want to quit this job." Just, you know, it makes us come off weird. <laughs> like, but Martin, they're paying. But Martin, they're. But Martin, they're paying sixty crones an hour. Mm, I don't need your mercy. No face. But that said, I know what you're yeah, thinking. Yeah, no kidding. If there's an axe murderer around. His logic is so flawed. Yeah, I gave that Godzilla a second watch. I still enjoyed it, so... Yeah, that Godzilla was a great movie. I still I like, I enjoyed it. I don't see it. I enjoyed it, yeah. I was 11 years the only little the parts that got me annoyed at times was when me, the girl just kept getting saved by Godzilla at certain points. Pull it down ever since. Will you help? Like how many close calls has she had throughout the film? Starring Courtney Hope. Uva Vian... Oh, I missed it. Jane Polkinen, Stuart McDonald. Sean Donnelly, Paul Arif, Anthony Puamu. I had to get this because a lot of people said it plays like Alan Wake. Okay. I'm a big fan of Alan Wake. Well, yeah, I love Alan Wake as well. Alan Wake as well. Just make another goddamn Just Alan make Wake. Another goddamn Alan Wake. They are. I heard that they, uh, they are in the works of making another Alan Wake. I know. Mm-hmm. I can't Microsoft wait, man. Even when it came backwards compatible on this console, on the Xbox, I grabbed it up instantly. Enjoyed it. Totally enjoyed I, it. I think I got it because I got Quantum Break a while ago. They just gave the game up for free. Yeah. Remember a while ago, like when I first started playing, I said, Jeff, this was years ago, I said, you got to play Alan Wake, man, I'm telling you. Yeah, I think I rented it, and then I played through the whole thing, or I must have bought it used or some shit. Uh-oh, your ex home. We're starting from the top. What, did he pop in the party? I just saw he, I just saw he came online. Oh. It's Neo Virgil. Neo Virgil. Of course, the ink can talk. Welcome to the oldest house. Untrack. Proceed to deeper. Press A to untrack. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. So that's like a. Compendium.
Basically, it's a 300-to-file-one contest and it serves very proud what you remember. Alaska scissors. Alaska word phrases to avoid. Alaska scissors, blood bleed, loss, apology, sorry. Oh, yeah, this is right up Darcel. He was like, all of those words have meaning. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> all those words have meaning. She's like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up! No! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Barbara, I am not to be disturbed. Cancel all of my appointments for today. For the rest of the week, I can't trust them. Barbara, not a single one. Oh man, I'm liking this already. I can't trust him. Not a single one. like me exchanging third person monologue and dialogue with myself you're like should I really do this you think my mother will but like still like me after I kill this person <laughs> <laughs> I don't know but will that neighbor try to kill Danae find out next episode on Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the black man's adventures. Mm. The service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner, and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> Oh no, I'm in Norway. Ugh. Joker's final trailer's here. Jack and Phoenix is losing his grip. I don't know, we'll see how good the film is. I don't really have high yeah, hopes right. for it. The same gun. That gun is being belligerent and abstinent. Okay, now I have a gun. Oh yeah. Fire service <laughs> weapon. Destroy the copy. Come in position. What did it say? Oh, it reloads by itself. It's like the gun is alive or some shit. Well, then if you if if you're alive, you can shoot by yourself. You protect me. I shouldn't even have to hold you. Oh, who, what, who the fuck are you? Where's your clothes? I 
Hadouken! <laughs> Ooh, somebody got a gun. Who's shooting? Who's shooting? You got a lot of fucking nerve. I'll shoot you in the eye from here, buddy. Oh, wait, you can shoot from the hip. It's over. It's over. Here's a war. Here I come. All came the older. Then we came over. Out came the older. I just spit I wonder whatever happened to him. He's grown now. You know that, don't you? What's that? I wonder what ever happened to that kid. The uh, fur burglar? Yeah, he's grown now. He has to be. He was yeah, like he your age at the time. Maybe a year younger. Yeah. But I'll claim the old. This. Duty as director. Keep the bureau safe. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. I heard it. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? Oh, mushrooms. I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. Enemies drop quite health elements. When damaged, collect health elements to restore health. Oh, okay, so I need to go up. Go up and make a right. What are the question marks for? Fuck is this? Don't you fucking scare me. You can't let this happen. 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 See, I loved when they when they do that shit. They put real actors in with the fucking um game, like they did Alan Wake. You stopped it. You. Thank you. That was. Who is this actress? Horror. For a second, she looks like the girl from The Walking Dead. Get the fuck away. Ah, uh, that's right. Get the fuck away. Get the fuck away! Open assets. What the hell is that? Service weapon. Containment procedure. No unique procedure um, required. Description. Power utility. The object's form is variable and bound. The object allows para utilitarians. Para utilitarians to this object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of blank. The object will determine whether blank, if rejected, the applicant is terminated. This process is dictated by the gun, I guess the weapon itself. Though their criteria is unknown. Background. The object was discovered inside the oldest house in the room that is now used as the director's office. The popular hypothesis. Many forms throughout history. Blank. Mjolnir. Excalibur. Vanunastra. All weapons. Varunastra. All weapons that of their wielders if objects of power are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious then this may be the original manifestation of that event. If this is the case, see Dr. Darling presentation 11.1 for more details. I gotta stop using video games as drugs, man. <laughs> Objects of power can oh my god, I love this game. Drugs! I like... World events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note. Remember to cover their connection to the astral plane. Story well. time. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're, well, fine. 
Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. Gosh, I love Remedy fucking games. They give me that shit that I'm looking for. They know what I need. How do you do upgrades on here? Mm. Previously on Alan Wake. Motherfucker, I told you to leave me alone. Let's see. Director's office. Should I go around or what? Is it this way? Oh my god, I'm ready to go through here. I think I want to speed put hold up let me put my swing up my controller sensitivity let's go up a little bit see because I like to swing and shoot Jeff taught me that yeah 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 he said, oh, man, you holding that gun all wrong. That's why you keep dying. <laughs> yeah, that's how you do it. This is how you do it, old man. Come here, old man. Murder. No, hey, come Murder. here, old man. Old man, where you going? No, over here, old man. You're going to get shot if you go over there by yourself, old man. <laughs> there we go. Hold up, maybe I need to turn it down a little bit. Cause they got that blur motion. That shit making me sleep. I see bullets coming, but like where? He said, like, oh! Unredefined He's like, materials. How? He's like, how? Equipped. Nothing. What the fuck? Assets. Okay. Materials. You do not have a clearance level. Missions. Collectibles. Assets. I 
Enemies drop health when damaged. Collect health at minutes to restore. Okay. The hell is that? I'm gonna shoot him. Should I be shooting these people? I don't think so. Maybe I should just leave them alone. It's an it look like they're already it's suffering. In the air. Yeah, no. <laughs> they already look like they're suffering. Their blood pressure is gonna be through the roof when they get down. memory. What the fuck? Okay, what's this? What's that? What's this? Un undefined reading. Conceptual material. Conceptual house memory. What the fuck is this shit? I want my fucking money back. Okay, we checked out the suspect in AWA Duluth. Just select the house fire before this and the malfunctioning closed yard before that. My team is pretty sick of duds. We need to find a better way to sort the fake AWEs from the real things. Or you need to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're on route to Sherman Ranch. Next one on the list. Let's hope it's a little livelier there. Sincerely, Special Agent Keenum. Central executive. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble is contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. What the fuck is this?
How do you duck behind shit? No idea, man. I didn't play it. I died. I guess you don't take cover or nothing like that. I don't know. I need a stronger gun. Guns. Guns. Guns are for whips. Martin's like, I don't need your help. I don't need your help. I don't. I'm I don't not need weak. your mercy. Like Martin. You're pointing a handed low gun, a hand, loaded handgun at a puppet. Yeah. Yes, I am. Behind the puppet is our friend. <laughs> I guess I don't have any upgrades to give, like, put on my gun or anything like that. I guess I gotta fight them as they are. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this. Shut up the audio so you can Okay. Urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials, but can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Urban legends are understood as the modern evolution of Jung's archetypes. We recognize certain informed by our own and popularized by our media. We have additionally proven that urban legends can even be artificially in popular culture using... Okay, I see what they're doing. Main anthology television program. Let's see their own human imagination exacerbates the details. Certain paranormal phenomena contain clear elements of popularized folklore. AWEs that occur that only occur on a pair and consume human through punctures. Or these details living in the minds of, the, of so many have been given strength through belief. Urban legends are just stories for children. Not just stories for children. They are paranormal realities waiting to happen. Maybe I'll drink tomorrow. What are you going to drink tomorrow? The Kraken. The Kraken? Place. Is the his your enemy? Alright, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burns the spin like an infusion. Okay, field research on his entity, his corrupted security guard, confidential. The bureau has many internal security personnel. The his was quickly was quick to take advantage of this fact. His guards use the standard issue bullpup rifles. They carry prior to corruption. While the armored guards carry pump action shotguns, they have no observed paranormal abilities, with the exception that certain his guards are protected by a shield of defense. His resonance capable of stopping bullets. Is this shield a result of prolonged his corruption? Does his his mature in organic host over time? More data is needed. Did the his target individuals with combat training? Does the his have the level of cogn cognizance? Does it utilize host for tasks? They are best. Okay, so they they um they're possessed. Combat train hosts are reserved for combat. Okay, no, 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 no. All right, all right, all right. It ain't melody that makes you hum it over and over.
trying to see if they can give me any upgrades or anything like that so I can deal with these guys. Oh, that's right, I got a melee. I forgot all about that. Must cleanse control points. An enemy. Corrupt. Spreading. Cleanse the control point. This girl was born to end lives. Hold on one second. <clears throat> he came in the party. Okay, there we go. I see a little frame drop in this every now and then, though. Like when it's a lot of shit going on. Holy shit. You did oh, that's your shit, man. We did it. Hello. Can you hear me? Are you with us? With the Bureau. Are you still sane? Oh, you can change outfits. I'm gonna like this. I love... I love dressing up girls. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm going to put all sorts of clothes on her. I'm going to take them off and put them on. They shouldn't have never told me I have a dress option now. Point of interest, point of interest, point of interest, point of interest. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, and Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Hey, Savage She-Hulk. What's up, sweetie? Good to see you on here. Thanks for joining. Director. Faden. Control. Call me Jesse. That's the name of this game. Okay, Jesse. 
I'm Emily. Look, somehow, this hostile force, this... Hiss? That works? Somehow the Hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just mm -hmm. like that, my name for it is official. The hiss she got a laser tag vest on. Har har. In. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. I killed him. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me. Control. Saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point. Push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. Oh, like the the, the name of the game is Control. In the lockdown, before you you can't hear my voice? Can you hear my voice in the stream, <laughs> um, Fierce? I'm not ready to tell her about yeah, you yet. Oh. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. I, this is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Uh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the Hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. Yeah, the graphics are pretty decent on this. Some of the facial models are a little bit funky, but it's a beautiful okay. game. Are you with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Change the his corrupted agent. Okay. Yeah, the graphics are nice. Very nice on this. I'm trying to figure out who that woman is who is the main protagonist. What actor she is. I've seen her before. The hiss has burrowed too deep. The hiss manifests in human hosts in numerous ways. The most common and least intense form is seen in the many corrupted agents floating throughout the Bureau. These agents have maintained their human appearance, undergoing no f obvious physical transformation. The most notable distinct form of an uninfected human is, of, is the fact that they levitate. These hiss have displayed no aggressive behavior. They only seem interested in vocalizing a strange incantation ad infinitum. In, 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 in Perhaps these vessels are, the only, are only meant to propagate the hiss corruption. Like spores or Wi-Fi boosters, or are they the cocoons preparing to enter their next stage of evolution? When attacked, his agents disappear, perhaps entering a state of his invis invisibility or undergoing a transformation into a purely resonant form. <laughs> Research is ongoing. Refer to file for full report. Okay. Um, let me see. You do not have a clearance level. What the hell is this right here? I don't know what this Ripping part is. Out, rips them apart. Mm-hmm. Jesse, over here. We need to make a plan to this next
Control prints the location that the Bureau has identified as being vital junctions of the oldest house. When the appropriate harmonization devices are arranged around the control point and the arrangement of the surrounding area will not be experienced any overseen building shift. So points of discovery by detection of the obstructed pane using within a 37 foot radius. Numerous researchers opted to define control points, calling them nerve junctures and or vulnerable points of the oldest house. The common factor in these theories is the control points are susceptible to internal influence, which allows us to realize the oldest house. Inside, theoretically, the technology could be extrapolated to destabilize all this house as a whole. But testing has found that certain parts of the building refuse to be okay. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. A few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type, I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof, this is already it, more than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. The bat phone. I know 
this is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. Got an achievement. The door. Enter the communications department to find the hotline. Mission briefing. Okay. Welcome to the oldest house. Jesse Faden arrives at the oldest house. The detective. I guess that was okay. Completed missions. Mission briefings. All right. Emily instructs Jesse to find the hotline and object of power in the form of an old telephone to understand the message from the dead director trying to communicate with her. They hope he can provide insight into this his invasion. Collectibles, research records, poetry. Zachariah. The, the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. Thanks, Emily. The hotline should be in the communications department. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. With you on that, Emily. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. Uh, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't, which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. Unstable. The prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo, maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd need the gun to research it. <laughs> but you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Mm. Man. Objects of power. Objects of power is exactly. This is all. Well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Got it. Thanks. So, HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? Well, it seems that way. I, mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Okay, so I guess we can get on our Thanks. mission now. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know.
Energy boost, open loadout. Okay, how do we... Grip is reliable with semi-automatic fire that is deadly at short and long range. How do you add it? Exclusive to Shatter. Per okay, we got personal mods. Energy recovery speed. Health recovery on elemental pickup 20%. Energy boost. I guess I don't have Shatter yet. Yes, I gotta go this way, straight across, and maybe hang up. This map is weird. I don't know how. Okay, there it is. I have a little door that's resonating with energy. Again, our welcome message. What in the world are these things? Materials, conceptual materials. You do not have clearance level. You do not have clearance level. What is this stuff right here? Oh, okay, that's how you duck.
I hit him with the Hado. That's Dan's Hado. Fugilistic punch. Fugilistic punch. Fugil fugilistic punch. His resonance field is physical. I have no idea what those what these materials are. Okay, so this game isn't as linear as like the other um, Remedy games. So you do a little bit of exploring on this. Okay. Never saw this before. Okay, so yeah. It's best to explore. Yep. Is this stuff right here? Unstable area, please be aware. Due to recent fluctuation in the nearest control point, this area's stability has been downgraded to yellow. Refer to chart, green, stable, yellow, low possibility of unanticipated building shifts, orange, high likelihood of anticipated building shifts, red, frequent anticip unanticipated building shifts. That sounds horrible. I think I'm going to kill these people just so they'll shut up. Oh my goodness. just touched I don't know what was it like poison flower or mold or some shit like that really start me all the way to fuck back there just because I touched the wrong shit 
There it is again. Our welcome message. Okay, so I guess after you kill the assailants here, you don't have to redo it all over again, which is cool. Yes, it's overpowered okay. here. You don't want me anywhere near it. I'm with you on that. I guess I can't go in there yet. Because if I walk in there to open the canister, I die. Dead letters. A dream and I built the thing I saw in my dream a machine that will contain God but not the anyone knows of you God the machine will be his body here just let the dream show me I use the motor from the refrigerator as fuck for him to say. Damn.
what are these assets like what is this stuff I hit the button it does nothing I can't they keep saying I don't have clearance level Assets. How do I use this stuff? Explore, explore, explore. Repair, repair, repair. Executive kill boost. Grip is reliable with semi automatic fire that is deadly at short range. Consecutive kills. Okay, what does it do? Damage after a damage after a kill. Okay. I guess I'll put it on. Yeah, this is one of those games you can run through it fast, but I think you'll get the most benefit out of it if you uh, if you explore a little bit, take your time and go around. Because from what I understand, it's going to be a lot of action, so it's no, you know, me myself, I'm a person who loves story, so. Yeah, me too. I love story-driven games. Absolutely love them. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disc, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, okay. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched... Maybe three dozen pencils. And once... We even launched a cup. Now see like right here, I like the character. I like the female protagonist that's the um that's the heroine in this game. Like she seems believable, you know what I mean? 
even for it to be a work of fiction, it doesn't seem like some OP character or whatever the case may be. Through the communications department, mission update. Communications. We're on the right track. Just look around real quick, see if I left anything. What's this door over here? How come I can't use none of this shit? I saw something fly past me. You saw that, right? with that hot dough. I like the destructible environments too. This game here, the places you neglect or don't, um, you know, pretty much uh, scour the area, you end up losing some valuable stuff. So let me go back in here. I was just fighting these guys at. Let's see if there's anything in that area. Should be something. Yeah, because I see some doors. Hado!
when do these motherfuckers stop? Do they just keep coming? Oh, okay, so I've been in here already. All right. All right, so this is an area I've already been through because I remember finding that container in there. All right, so I can progress a little bit, you know, progress a little bit further. Again, this... See, I want to know why I was not able to go in here because of this fucking mold that had built up that no one did anything about. Look at that. And that junk hurt the daylights out of me just by me going near the door. So, let's go back to where I'm supposed to be. And you know what? The energy doesn't dissipate after you uh, defeat your enemies and shit, which is cool. I guess later on I'll be able to get into these rooms right here or there. Nope. So let's go. Out in the bathroom. Let's see what's up the steps here. See, I don't know what these materials for. Clear what is this stuff for? Like or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note, remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're well. Fine. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. Well, I think I saw this one already. This is floppy disk. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. Okay, so this one already. All right, all right. Okay, so what we're gonna do? Head back down. Damn. Object of power. Looks like the hiss has latched onto us. We need to cleanse it.
I have no idea what these open assets are. I have no idea what they are. Oh shit, I got telekinesis. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. They're pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Old RB. Oh man, why you this? Oh shit! <laughs> We're gonna get busted in the head with shit. I like this. Security base. You must stop. Mute them, Director. You must stop. Let me see if I got some new powers. <laughs> I ain't getting none. Energy recovery. Energy recovery speed by 17%. Thank you. 
Just got an achievement. Obtain the launch ability. There you are. You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. Who wants some more? Who around? Who wants some more? Who wants some more? Somebody shot at me. Where you at? Where you at, bro? Got something for you. Where are you? Out there? Where are you? Oh! Hold up. Coming upstairs. Somebody has a rocket or some shit like that. I'm liking this game. Jeff, you'll like this game, I'm telling you. The power! What are these undefined, uh, yeah, undefined readings? Like, what are these? Like, can I unlock them? Can I? You getting ready to take it down, brother? Yeah. All right, go ahead and get some rest, boss. I catch you later.
So they're like the heavy ordnance guys. His demolition experts and they only observe his variations of wheel, especially built rocket propel grenade. Designed to identify and track threat. Of the Bureau is well trained and well armed. His mission reinforces that he is corrupted. Only four of them. He engages with training and duties of higher commands in order to prevent first progress of the mission or the completion of the sub mission. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room.
have no idea what these assets are. I gotta. They're adding up whatever it is. It's, it's, it's Make sure I didn't forget anything before I leave this area. Okay, so I guess the doors that had the ones on them. You're listening to America Overnight, mystifying the airways for more than 29 years. Thank you for staying up with us. Ghosts. We've had many callers over the years tell us of hauntings, voices, and other phantasmagorical phenomena. Today, friend of the show, Dr. Quincy Reagan, tells his story. Quincy. Thanks. This is something I experienced recently while staying at the Chili Pines Motel in Macon for last year's Suspicion Con. I was in room 47. The night manager, an avid listener of the program, insisted I take this particular room. Now, the manager explained that years back, the body of a man was discovered under the bed. Inside that wooden border that the motel rats tend to have, body had been there a week, he said. Guests had stayed there, sleeping with the corpse of Flip alone. They only found the body when housekeepers complained about the smell. Hauntings have been reported in room 47 ever since. I happily took the room. I fell asleep pretty quick, checking under the bed first, of course. No ghosts visited me, no chilly spots or flickering lights. But when I woke up, I found myself under the bed. It was dark and stiflingly hot. Luckily, I was able to push the mattress off and crawl out before I suffocated. The night manager was kind enough to find me another room. Oh, there you have it, listeners. What we call ghosts take many forms. Quincy was brave enough to tell his story and I encourage you to keep calling and writing whenever you encounter something strange, something you can't explain. Maybe you're seeing colors that we have no name for. Maybe your toaster is possessed. Remember, dear listeners, when no one else believes you, we do. America Overnight, 
We'll be right back. Honked him in the head with the back pull up. they let you keep your shit. I remember seeing a door with a one on it.
It was somewhere I went and I saw a door with a one on it. What was that power utility?
Reminder, if you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two, carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention.
I don't know what these. I have to look this up. I, I, whatever it is, I know I got a lot of it. Can I upgrade yet? Your mom. 